morning everyone it has been a while and guess what i am on my maternity leave well actually i'm not on my maternity leave now i'm using my three weeks holidays towards my maternity leave so i get to be off a little bit earlier and just do things in the house and um me and shane went to ikea yesterday and we picked up loads of stuff so we've got some here and i'm currently just taking it out of the dishwasher because i came home yesterday and just chucked everything that needed washing into the dishwasher and i've already put the mugs out just there and then i was just doing the, the uh, dishwasher now and i just thought i'll get my camera and just give you an update of what we've been up to where we've been and what the plans are for this three weeks no i have five weeks so i am currently 35 weeks pregnant and i've got five weeks till my due date so i just thought as I'm at home, I should be able to vlog a little bit more if I don't feel out of breath all the time. Um, I just went upstairs to get my camera and again, I feel out of breath. So yeah, um, this is the current situation. I'm in my painting clothes because um, I'm gonna do a bit of painting today once I've put everything away and I've had a cup of tea. So today I was meant to finish off the baby's room but um, we just need to finish off the panelling. There's only a tiny bit of panelling left to do in there. Once that's done, I hopefully will be able to um, paint that tomorrow. The lighting's not very great in there. Um, but yeah, this is the utility room. And this room just looks like, I don't know, this is my least favourite room in the house. And I've just got loads of stuff here that I don't really like, don't have a home for and yeah i just don't like it so i'm going to try and paint these cabinets today i saw stacy Solomon do her one and i was like that's such a great idea why did i not think of that so i'm just going to paint them white today and see how i get on if i like them white they will stay white if not i'm going to probably change it to that khaki color that we've got in the guest bedroom downstairs because i've got loads of paint of that left and um, it's probably not going to get used so I might do those cabinets and I also might just do those shelves up there. And then also I'm just going to give it a paint just on the walls because the walls don't really need it. But I feel like once it's painted, I feel like it's new. So um, yeah, I think I'm just going to concentrate on this room today. And it shouldn't take long because it's not a big room and I'll just do what I can in here. I'm not too fussed if a lot of it doesn't get done. But um, yeah, that's the plan for today i might even make my own khaki color up i might add some white in there because i think the green khaki might be too dark for that room um so yeah this is the khaki color i'm talking about um so i might do it that color or i might just mix it in with some white and just make my own color not very sure yet but um yeah hopefully we'll find figure something out and we'll get that done and yeah that is the plans for today i'm going to put the rest of the ikea stuff away and just um make myself a cup of tea the reason why we bought so many plates and bowls and everything is because we just had a mix match of everything and what we found is that we would use something and it would go in the dishwasher and because it's just me and shane um I wouldn't put on the dishwasher every single day if it wasn't full. I will only put the dishwasher on if it's full. So um, yeah, most of our stuff was ending up in there and we just didn't have things to use afterwards. So I had to put the dishwasher on for like four or five items. So I was just like, do you know what? I'm just going to go and get just a bulk of just Ikea stuff because they're cheap and cheerful and they are just reasonable for now and we just have eight of everything um so i bought two packs of everything um apart from the mugs i only bought four mugs because they were sold separately um but yeah i just thought having eight of everything will be good because christmas is coming up soon and hopefully fingers crossed we'll have all of our family over which is going to be nice hopefully fingers crossed everything goes to plan so yeah if everyone comes over we'll have a plate and a bowl and everything each so yeah that's the idea about it because at the moment we're just mixing and matching and when someone comes over we're like yep yeah, here's a plate for you here's a plate for you i'll have out this plate and yeah so i'm just gonna pop all of this stuff away now
so i've had my cup of tea and my bowl of cereal and now i am going to start off in this room and i've just placed my black bag on the floor for now and i'm just going to start painting that i changed my mind but i don't think i'm going to paint the room because i just feel like i'll be wasting time in here at the moment because we use this room quite a bit for like just storing junk in and everything so i just feel like the walls are just going to keep getting dirty anyways so i'm just going to try and give that a zhuzh and then I think this will be the last room that we paint because it is just used for a utility room and just storing junk in at the moment so yeah i think i'm just going to paint those drawers and see how i get on and hopefully it will look a lot nicer and yeah that's the idea i think So the first coat of painting is done. It doesn't look great at the moment, but it looks so much more open in here with just having the white paint. And um, I'm gonna let it dry and then I'm gonna do a second coat. But while it's drying, I have to make tomato soup because we picked so many tomatoes from our greenhouse and they're currently just going off. So I'm going to cut all of these up and save the ones that I can and then make some tomato soup. I actually made this for the guys when they were um, doing the ceiling. I don't think I've given you an update on the ceiling actually. Um, so yeah, I made some tomato soup when the guys came to do the slabbing on the ceiling and they loved the tomato soup. So I just thought I'll make another batch and if anyone comes over or for me and Shane, we'll be able to eat some soup. Um, so that's what we're going to do but let me give you a quick look of the ceiling now so this is our ceiling and it's looking so much better in here already and we've just got to finish off that corner and we're just waiting for one more wire to go in in that chase there because that's a new chase that we did for our amp which is going to be for the ceiling speakers um, and then we can slab that up and then hopefully we will be able to get Shane's cousin out to come and plaster it for us this week hopefully so that's the plan so there's not much left to do in the um, living room now so once it's plastered we have to leave it to dry for two weeks and then we can paint it and then just decorate it really um, so that's the plan in here and hopefully that will be done before the baby arrives so once it's plastered, you can use the room and once it's been two weeks, we'll just quickly paint it and just get it nice and prepped. Um, but for now, we're just going to keep the furniture, I think, what we have already. And currently we're working on the baby's room. So there's a lot going on in the house at the moment. And finally being off, I feel a bit more settled because I can just crack on with jobs that I need doing, like painting and stuff. And then when Shane comes home, he can help me with the stuff that I can't do. So yeah, we're getting there, but um, I am 35 weeks pregnant and I am feeling exhausted a lot of the time and I'm just taking my time with everything and I just don't wanna overdo it. So hopefully in the five weeks we'll have everything done. There aren't any major jobs, um, but it's mainly just painting and paneling at the moment. And um, we have a lot of DIY stuff to build. So Shane's going to be busy building loads of DIY stuff um they're just stuff to go in the baby's room and in the, the guest room downstairs and hopefully once everything is done i can give you like a reveal of like our house being updated or anything but at the moment everything is like half finished jobs so yeah um my task for five weeks is just to complete those and trying to stay motivated because i am tired i'm not going to lie um, I just don't feel like doing anything, but I'm going to just do what I can and when I can and just keep it simple that way. But for now, 
we are going to make some tomato soup. Firstly, I have to apologize for the state of me. I have, I should have done that right at the beginning, but this is how I'm probably gonna be looking for the next five weeks. Um, but the tomato soup is on the cooker now and just boiling away there. And last time it was so yummy, so I'm hoping that it'll be really, really good again. And this time I think I've got a bigger batch. So yeah, I'm looking forward to just digging in after once this is done i've put a few potatoes in there just to thicken it at the end um, and i've just seasoned it so i'm just going to let that boil away until um, the potatoes are soft and then i'll just hand blend it again i also chucked in four green chilies from our garden just because they were in the fridge i was trying to clear out the fridge so i've put tomatoes in there one and a half red peppers and some potatoes and some chilies so that was everything that needed to go from the fridge so that's what i've put in there but the paint is still drying in the other room and i'm not going to go and paint it just yet because i'm just going to let it properly dry before i did the second coat and then um while the soup is cooking i think i might just edit my 33 week pregnancy update because i did start it and it's been like nearly a week since i've um, not completed it so that's something I need to do. So I might just bring my laptop downstairs and just finish editing that so that can go out on Friday. I have my weekly updates all filmed. I just need to edit them and schedule them for every week because I feel like they probably won't go out if I don't edit them. Um, so yeah, I do need to crack on with that. So I've just got so much on my plate at the moment, but I am gonna get through it. It's just the first day until my five weeks end. So there's a lot to do and I just feel like I want to get everything done now but I have got five weeks and I'm just going to take my time and just get myself organized that's what I'm going to do but um yeah I'm just gonna go and get my laptop and start editing the tomato soup is ready and it actually tastes delicious I just tasted it I might have a small bowl now because I'm a little bit peckish and just have a slice of bread with it but this is the outcome it is absolutely delicious and it has a really nice kick to it because i ended up putting four green chilies in it so yeah i'm looking forward to having some of that so this looks like it's pretty much dry now and look at the difference it makes in this room like it looks so much cleaner and just neater like it just opens up the room um i'm not sure if i'm going to leave it white or actually put some green onto it i might try the green if I don't like it, it'll go back to white, but um, it looks so much nicer already. So I've just finished doing the second coat and it just looks so much more better and cleaner and it's really taken to the wood now um but i'm still in two minds whether i want to go that khaki color or to leave it white but it's definitely made such a difference in here and it just looks so much cleaner from just painting the cupboards um even that shelf up there but it just looked really dated and really really bad this room but now it just feels like it's opened up a lot so um yeah i'm just gonna maybe test out the khaki color slightly and if i don't like it then i'll change it back to white but yeah that's finally one of the tasks finished in this house um that was one of the ones that i wanted to do and that is now ticked off but it's not complete just yet so i just need to finish it off completely and then move into the next room but the state of me from just um painting those i don't know how i get so messy but i do look at the hands as well it's ridiculous <laughs> i don't know how i get paint everywhere but i do <laughs> um but yeah i'm gonna chill out for a bit and just wait until that dries and hopefully get that finished today because i would like to finish that off so that i can start on the baby's room tomorrow i'll actually give you an update of the baby's room upstairs because we have started the paneling it just needs to be finished so i'm just going to give you a quick update on that and yeah if i sound out of breath now it's because i'm walking up the stairs <laughs> so this is the progress in the bedroom so we've started paneling so all of those are done we just need to do the side ones 
this wall is really really not straight and we're gonna have to redo this one but the rest of them are pretty good so we just need to go around with the border and then finish off some of these boxes because we ran out of panelling but I bought some and we're just going to finish that side off and then those ones are all done over here and we just need to finish off this wall as well so not a lot to do today um, hopefully that will all be done I might try and cork all of these ones today so that it's ready for me to paint tomorrow um, that would be a huge help so I don't have to wait for it to dry tomorrow and I can go straight into painting. If I look like I've just woken up that's because I have and it's been a few days since I last vlogged and I was in the middle of redoing my utility room. So it's now complete, it did take me two days to do, um, to fully complete because I ended up painting the walls. So uh, let me show you the overall look. So this is the utility room now and it looks so much better. And yeah, I mean, it's a room that gets used quite a lot for like laundry and just a bit of my uh, outdoor coats when we go for walks with Shane's dog uh, when she's over. And we also just have our washing in here and then just the cupboards. And the cupboards have felt like a little bit out of place and a bit worn down. So the paint has made a real big difference and even doing rest of the wall white just makes a massive difference so it's another room that looks complete now which i'm super pleased about and yeah so that's what i've been up to so i changed my mind and i just felt like it just needed to be painted i know i did say at the beginning that i probably won't be painting the walls but i did change my mind because i was just like i might as well complete the room before i move on to the next one so I still haven't started on the baby's room. Fingers crossed, fingers crossed, I'll be starting that room tomorrow, hopefully. If not, by the weekend and hopefully I'll get it finished in two days like I did with the utility room. If not, it will be finished by Monday, Tuesday, depending on what day I start. But I'm sure I'll bring you all along with me and yeah. So that was the update and I've just been sleeping because I woke up really early today because I had a, a doctor's appointment um, just for a maternity checkup and everything seems to be fine. I'll probably have to go in like every week now just to make sure everything is okay and they're just going to monitor me. So um, yeah, I'm going to go in next week again to the doctors and then I have my hospital appointment the week after. So yeah, we're very, very close to the due date and we still have a lot to do. <laughs> but I'm gonna end the vlog here now and um, start a new vlog tomorrow, hopefully, when I'm doing the baby's room, fingers crossed. And if you guys enjoyed this video, then make sure you give it a thumbs up and also make sure you hit that subscribe button just there and I will see you all in the next one.